Hi, this is Todd, and I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about one of the four products of a beehive. It's called propolis. Again, the four products of a beehive are honey, pollen, beeswax, and propolis. And propolis is uh, one of the most interesting things. So propolis is a Greek word that comes from uh, the word pro, which is in front of, and polis, which means house. And it's because the Greeks found this material built up around the house. It's incredibly sticky. It's used by the bees it's to, to clean and protect and seal the house, their house, the beehive. And it's, um, it's collected from tree resins of, of trees um, and they collect it in their pollen baskets and they bring it in and they use it and they seal things up. Um, so in the warm weather, it's a very, very sticky material. And when it gets cold, it turns very, very brittle. It's actually part of the bees immune system the honey beehive works as a super organism and so the propolis is part of that immune system in fact the bees they found in genetic studies that bees actually have fewer genes relating to uh, immunity because they depend on propolis to be part of their immune system 240 different compounds um, in this in this uh, propolis this is the tincture of it um, there's actually when you when you have the propolis it smells actually a bit like vanilla, uh, vanilla, because it's got this vanilla compound in it. And some of the compounds haven't even been identified yet. So this is a very complex um, substance. Um, science is still working to understand exactly what's going on with it. But it, it does have these amazing um, properties of immunity. So as a beekeeper, how do you collect it? Well, first of all, as a beekeeper, it's a nuisance. It, it You open up a hive, especially in the summer, you have this sticky mess that you're pulling things apart and it's everything just is glued together by the bees with this stuff and that's part of their behavior so i have to scrape it off and clean it off and so you you know if you want to make an effort you collect it in the ball and over a season i had a big giant ball of this stuff and, and that's how i collected it um but you know we have to inspect the hives for um, to inspect for health and well-being of the, of the beehive so you do have to pry these things apart that they glue together so you are kind of doing doing their work but so uses um so like i said the bees use propolis to seal their hive up so you know plug up any holes um or actually reduce the entrance to keep invaders um, from being able to overwhelm the hive uh, and they also use it to clean the hive um, beehive if there's if the bees are not in a hive it gets funky really fast um, but then when you open up a hive that has lots of bees in there, you open it up, it actually smells kind of nice. Uh, so the bees are actively cleaning their hive and they're keeping it clean and pure. And, uh, and propolis is part of that. When every time a baby is born, they'll put a coat of propolis on the wax. And so over time, your wax will start off white and it will turn black. And that's the layers and layers and layers of propolis that the bees are using to clean. Say, Dad, can you show us a quick bottle? Of this stuff because all of them are just lined up right oh, there. Oh yes. Uh, so so this is <laughs> this is propolis in a tincture of pure grain alcohol, and I think Luke has got me at a good point to really just check this out. So what I've done is I've taken that ball and I've soaked it for weeks and weeks in grain alcohol, and eventually dissolves and I filter out, and it leaves this weird substance, and it's really amazing. It goes on. Like that, so that's the you know with alcohol. This is a thirty percent. So this is the strongest that they that that is on the market, and I make thirty percent concentration. And it's gonna dry because that alcohol is gonna evaporate. My skin's getting cooler, and it does smell like vanilla. That is amazing. But it's gonna get. I see it's drying now. I can feel it's sticky. You probably can't see it, but it's turned sticky. It's created a, a sticking layer because this is resin. It's just a sticky, sticky stuff. And now I have a thin coat of stickiness on my finger. So you put it on a cut or wound and it actually provides that kind of coating. And it would actually, if I put it in more concentration, you would start to actually start staining my skin a bit. Um, so we can put even more on. But it'll actually get to a point where it's annoying. Now, this stuff is... This is the real deal, so be careful. Don't spill it, because uh, it, it's messy. It doesn't clean up with soap and water at all. It needs to be wiped off with a paper towel or dissolved with more alcohol, of course, will do it, or Goo, Goo Gone has worked for me. And it's starting to coat on there. And again, 30% is a very strong uh, concentration. Other places, they do it a much less concentration, but 
Um, you can see it's kind of like a nature's band-aid. It's been used for thousands of years. The Greeks used it, the Romans used it um, as an antibiotic, a treatment for wounds. Um, the Egyptians used it as part of their mummification process um, because it preserves. And when you talk about mummification, bee, uh, if, a honey, if a mouse sneaks into a beehive during the winter, the bees will sting it, kill it, and if they can't get the bee out, they'll coat it in propolis um, so to keep the disease away. Um, but it's an antibiotic. It's in, you know, for external use, external use, you can put drops of that on your tongue. You can put drops of that in, um, in, in, in yogurt and stir it in there or honey and stir that in there. Um, be careful there. Um, you go to Europe, they, propolis is in a lot of things over there. So they've really caught on. I don't know if they've been caught on. You go to a beauty store or beauty shop area and they have a lot of different propolis items. So they use it for skin creams and, and things like that. Um, and I've actually seen the, uh, I've had propolis chocolate, um, from, uh, what was it, uh, in, in the Baltics and, but they put propolis in the chocolate. So again, for health benefits and, you know, and take it orally or externally, um, they, you can grind it up in pills and put it in capsules. Um, this is the, the, the format that I've, I, I liked because it, again, I can use it as an antibiotic as a skin covering, or, you know, you can put it in food. So in terms of health benefits, there's a lot of different health benefits, and I'm, I'm not a doctor. I can't make any health claims. Um, there's a great article by Russ Conrad on my website, justmanhoney.com, that uh, outlines, thank you, outlines all the, the different areas where there is active scientific research going on, and it's, it's happening in the antifungal arena. Um, and again, trees produce this to, um, um, the trees are actually produce this to keep fungus away from their flowers. So there's antifungal ca uh, capabilities, antibacterial, uh, there's antioxidant uh, uh, properties, an anti-cancer properties that are being looked at. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to run through all that, but it's, it's all, um, like I said, in the article, um, justmanhoney.com, where you can Google propolis and learn more about it. Like I said, I think it's, it's, maybe it's more emerging in the United States. I think it's, it's been around for a while in, in Europe, and it's probably more accepted there. Um, but you know, my, my small test is I had a cut and I did part of it with propolis and part of it without propolis. And it seemed like it healed better with the propolis again. And like I said, you know, the nice thing, um, if you get it from me or a reputable beekeeper is, you know, it's the real deal. Um, unfortunately in this, in this industry, there's a lot of, um, a lot of shady business that goes on anyway. So again, uh, check out justmanhoney.com to order, uh, to purchase propolis. I think uh, in terms of this product itself, I think this is superior on the market. You're not going to find a better product on the market. Again, it's 30%, the highest concentration available. Uh, honey for purchase, as well as comb honey, uh, wax candles. Again, wax is another byproduct, so I make some candles and wax bars. Um, so it's all there. So uh, thank you for your time. Uh, click, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you.